What's going on guys? It's Kevin Fox here from Fox Fishing 4K. So tonight we are going to be preparing, uh, filleting, and cooking a long nose gar. I'm with Manny. Hey guys. And we're gonna try this thing out. We've never no, eaten one God, before. Please, I don't no, know anyone no. else who has eaten one before. So we're gonna try it out and we're gonna let you know if this thing is a flop or something amazing. Who knows? Let's find out. Let's go. Woo! Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, so yeah, we put him in the cooler. He, this one was really, really angry. And this is the reason we keeping him. He was thrashing around so much, his snout snapped off, like his nose. So him in the wild, I don't think he'd fare that well. So we're like, okay, we're just gonna dispatch and eat him. He is still very lively. Man, he's gonna try to, whoa! Oh, holy, let me grab a light. Wow. There you go, you got him. So, yeah, you can see the nose where it broke off. So this long nose gar is not doing well. So we're gonna put it out of its misery and we're gonna try tasting him to see what he tastes like. Okay, so we dispatched the fish we didn't want to be cleaning it while it's alive it's just very cruel all right let's bring him up here Manny I'm gonna get this guy going what the hell I thought he was dead whoa I don't know if that's just nerves or what but yeah We pierced his brain a whole bunch of times. I don't know if that's just nerves or what that is. Whoa, he's actually trying to get out of there. Like, I think that's gotta be nerves or something. And it's so slimy. Oh yeah. What Manny's doing is cutting in behind the gill there and behind the fin. He's just gonna make a slit around the back of the head. They have all this armor along the back we want to trim right down the center of that, and we got a pair of tin snips here. Do you want me to try? Sure, you want to try? Sure. Oh, well, you got him good now. Oh, nerves. Oh. The fish isn't actually alive, but. His nerves will be still going. Jesus. If you guys haven't done this before, I recommend wearing gloves because these plates. Jesus. Now you don't have to go all the way down to the tail. Only to about there is what you need. Most of the meat is up near the top. This back, and you can take, see how there's almost like a natural space here? There's only a couple little fibers. Like I'm not even really cutting. I'm just letting my knife slide against the skin like this. Okay. Yeah run my hand along that edge you can hear it separating there I'm just running my fingers down going a little bit more each time and then I'll do the top but well, right along the top here is where your spine runs so I'm gonna do like a slice right from this tail like so right along that cut we did with the tin snips so once I run that knife down along that spine and I peel this open, what I want to do is just run this down along that spine and down to his rib cage. And it helps having someone like Manny hold that for you. So you can see the bones here, that's the edge of the rib cage. And I'm just letting my knife do the work 
coming down to that spine and then I'm just slowly curving my knife out like this and taking off this piece of meat one off there so what you'll end up with is one fillet just like this and the meat of a gar pike is really really white so this guy was alive like you saw we didn't bleed him um, if you do bleed them if you're gonna dispatch them you're planning to catch and keep them you would have a lot whiter meat if you just bled them as soon as you caught them so there's our one half we're doing the same thing on this side it's very very like thick meat like firm like it's really tough like to cut like it's not as tough as cartilage um, but I would say almost like cutting fat or gristle it's that it's that thick What's that? What do you think of that chicken nugget? I like it. You don't like it? Yeah. What's it taste like? It tastes like nothing. Tastes <laughs> like nothing? Yeah. Just bland? Yeah. Was it soft or chewy? Uh, chewy. Yeah, Wait, chewy. Wait, can I try it? Sure, you wanna try one? Sure. Okay, here. It's chicken nuggets. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's just not really a lot yeah, of taste. Yeah, kind of dry. Yeah, I let it go in the air fryer a little bit longer. It was pretty good. Hmm? It was fine. Yeah? But it just needs like... Needs like a sauce or something. Eh? Hey, no, but it's just kind of dry. It's too dry. It's, it's, it is chewy. It's dry. It is dry. It needs a sauce. Yeah. I bet you if that had like a, a sweet... Thai or like honey garlic or something, it would be good. If there was like a little like water hmm. to make it damp. It's definitely chewy. Mm. I mean, it's like yeah. calamari, an alligator or something, turtle. What? Know. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of. <laughs> okay. It's not bad. Definitely not bad. So if you guys are gonna try gar, definitely just don't eat it. Eat the eggs. Some people will like batter and eat. Uh, perch eggs don't eat any eggs from a gar pike. They are toxic. They're toxic to small animals Mammals humans. So just stick to the meat, but it's not bad I'm not a fish eater um, I can eat maybe perch Pike whitefish. That's about it. Everything else tastes a bit fishy and I could probably eat this so if you're a fish eater, you'd probably love this stuff So give it a try. I'll give that out of ten Six, six out of ten, yeah. and I would say I'd give walleye a five. So uh, if you're like a walleye eater, this is better than walleye. So um, give her a try. See you guys later. On to the next one. Bye bye. Woo!